everybody go down the stairway, wait in the courtyard, the fire department is on its way. Miss Lynch! I'm coming in. There's no fire. Uh. <coughs> she left that in the oven? Where the hell is Megan? Oh, Donna, please, will you go downstairs and wait? Miss Lynch? Miss Lynch? Are you here? Jody, are you going to help me get ready for my show tonight? No wonder I'm single. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I want to let you all in on a little secret. Woo! I love secrets. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> uh, seriously though, uh, my secret is that this is my first time on stage. Mm. I've been doing comedy for a while now. You can see some of my work on YouTube, Facebook, Tinder. <laughs> I bet you are on Tinder. <laughs> Woo. Okay, look, uh, sir, obviously you're very <laughs> excited that a woman is giving you this much attention. <laughs> But uh, just have some fun, okay? I'm about to reveal some very interesting things about myself. Like, I am from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Oh. I know what you're thinking. Shut up. <laughs> no, honestly, I, I moved to L.A. because there was a, a weirdo who wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah, I had a legitimate online stalker. Uh, wait. You're not him, are you? <laughs> Oh, yeah. How long have you known him? You trust him? He's actually my husband. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> uh, just for fun, can I uh, look through your phone, sir? Um, I don't know. Are you serious? Yeah. What, do you have a data or something? <laughs> I mean, what have you got to hide? Yeah, honey. Yeah, come on. Here. Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Okay, how did I know your screen would be cracked? <laughs> okay, let's see. A nice anniversary pictures. What a gentleman. You took her to a bed and breakfast. Okay. Oh. Hey, Jim, I airdropped you a picture. Can you put it up on the screen, please? <laughs> What are you, a politician? <laughs> yeah. Sir. Who'd you send that to? Me. He only said that to me. He was honey, away honey, on business. Honey, yeah, we don't, we don't need to give them exposition. Why? I it's just, cute. Uh, I it think it. really it's do. cute. We think it's cute, right? <laughs> All right, come get your phone. You've been a good sport. Everyone give him a round of applause, please. <laughs> All right, you guys have been great. Um, I'm Alyssa Haroldson. You can follow me at All Hair, three L's. 
Uh, thanks so much. That's my time. Thank you. What did you say? <laughs> Jerk. You're really funny, by the way. <sighs> thanks, man. Great set. Can I get you anything? I heard drinks were on him. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. Uh, I'll just have a bottle of water. So what happened? Well, let's see. We were laughing at one of your jokes, and then I quite innocently asked her if she had any scandalous photos on her phone. Uh, and splash. Splash. The best Tinder date ever. <laughs> so uh, what do you do when you're not getting drinks thrown in your face? I install high-end home theater equipment, but actually, uh, things are really taking off as a realtor. Oh, really? Yeah, why? You need a 4K TV? No, uh, I'm in need of an apartment, though. Touche. Uh, your girl, 6 o'clock. Oh, she's burning a hole in the back of my head, isn't she? I'm worried for your safety. So go apologize. It's nice talking to you. Hey, Alyssa, I'm Oliver, by the way. Yeah, you're not creepy at all by following me out here. How'd you know my name? You announced it from the stage like three times. No, I'm, I'm not being creepy. Look, you said you need an apartment, and I know of one in a great neighborhood that it should have been gone in a hot second. But the landlord is picky. He's rejected like two dozen clients in the last month. But I can get you an interview. And if he likes you, then maybe I can get you a break on rent or a low deposit if you're looking to buy. That's really kind of you, but there is no way that I could afford anything in any decent neighborhood. We can hardly afford this flea bag motel that we're staying in now while I look for work, so. We? Me and my cat? All right. Oh, well, look, it's a great apartment. And I actually live in the complex, too. Who knows? Maybe I can convince the landlord to like you. <laughs> <laughs> you actually remind me a lot of the last tenant. Well, it's getting chilly. Um, thanks for the offer, but I gotta go. Hey, Oliver. Go apologize to that girl. She's cute. Sure is cute. Hey, I've seen your face before and I can help but wonder how I let you slip. Hey, I called the police. You better get the hell out of here. Um, hi, someone's trying to break into my motel room. Okay, relax. Uh, it's gonna be okay. I need you to tell me where you're located. Um, miss? Miss, I'm showing multiple calls coming from this line, uh, in our system. Are you okay? Miss, are you there? Hello? Hello? Honey? Please, honey, let me in. Are you in danger? Oh, my keys. Yeah. You need to let me know if you're in danger. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry to bother you. Everything's okay. <sighs> this place is gorgeous. I know, right? I live in 5045. Vacant apartment is 2013. There's no way I could afford to live here. I don't know. I know the owner and her brother. Help them fill vacancies. And each place has free Wi-Fi and an HGTV, courtesy of me. So they owe me big time. We'll see. This is too good to be true. Too rich for my blood. We're gonna meet him right here.
Okay, remember, Robert can be very judgmental. If he comes off cold, don't worry about it. It's just how he is. The last guy I brought in, he wouldn't even look at him. He just shook his head. If this doesn't work out, I have plenty of other places I can show you. Now, I should probably tell you about the apartment. Don't you worry, Oliver. We'll tell her everything she needs to know. Hi, Miss Falsworth, Robert. This is Alyssa Haroldson, the new tenant I was telling you about. Pushy, isn't he? The vet. <laughs> I have to go on an errand, so my brother Robert is going to show you the apartment. I'd be delighted. Alyssa, is it? Yes. What a beautiful name. Thank you. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, Robert, I'm off. Don't forget to show her the new tile I had you put in. I won't. <laughs> I'm sure that Oliver has already told you about all the technical upgrades we've made. Yes, very impressive. Free Wi-Fi. And so much more. This way. What a jerk. The elevator is right here. Oh, uh, second floor, right? You guys go down. I'll take the stairs. Okay. Hi. Do I know you? No, no, no. I'm going to uh, 2013 to meet Robert to look at the apartment. Oh, yeah, 2013, right. Yeah. Can I help you? Oh, no, that's kind of you. Walking up and down these stairs is how I get my steps in. <laughs> well, if I take this apartment, you'll be seeing me a lot. I only take the stairs, too. Well, that'll be really nice. Well, have a good one. Me too. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're gonna need one of these if you want to open the door. We're high security here. Yeah. Shall we look at your apartment, Miss Harrelson? Well, here we are. Okay, this is a master fob. Yours will be personally coded to open your door, the stairwell doors, and the front door, and of course, the garage gate. We have recently painted. The apartment comes fully furnished. Any, all of it is yours if you want it. And check out that HDTV. This place is stunning. Why did the last tenant leave? Well, uh, I, I'm obligated to tell you that the previous tenant passed away on the premises. They didn't get murdered or anything, right? No. <laughs> no. No, she was a wonderful young woman, just very sad. She had a lot of emotional issues, and she took her own life. Yeah, in the bathroom. But we have completely gutted the bathroom. It's been cleaned from top to bottom, so there's nothing to worry about in there. Oh, uh, guys, I just had a showing over the other side of town. It got moved up, so I gotta go. Robert, take care of her. Give her the family discount. Alyssa, hope we can be neighbors. Call me. Hello. So, now that he's gone, tell me what you really think of the place. It's wonderful. Uh, but can you tell me a little more about the last tenant? Megan? Mm -hmm. Well, I really didn't know her at all. I'm sorry. Look, would it help if I just start you out with the friends and family rent rate? It's a good deal. Why would you do that for me? Well, if I'm being honest, you, uh... You remind me of my daughter, Jane. Oh, does she live here with you? No, no, she, she went away to college. Not my idea, believe me. I was hoping she'd stay someone close to home. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You gotta get out and explore and find yourself at that age. 
you know? Okay. What's the verdict? I, and I'm telling you, with our upgrades, this is the most secure complex on the west side. And I will make you a promise. I'll make sure you're as safe as if you were my own daughter. It's amazing. I'll take it. <laughs> Wonderful. I think we started something. Gonna tell the world again. Oh, you're so beautiful. I just can't hold it in. I think we started something. I hope it never ends. I hope, hope it never ends. Don't tell me that the good old days are The keys to your new castle. Ah, great. Uh, you know, I think I forgot to mention there's an emergency button on here. I know you're concerned with safety, so you press this from anywhere in the complex, and the police will be called. I've fallen on it. I can't get up. What? Oh, it's from an old commercial. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. That's funny. Can I uh, help you carry yeah. some things? Oh, sorry. I'll get her. You can just get the suitcase and the flowers. <laughs> oh, some flowers. Yeah, I love fresh flowers. They can make a morgue seem cheery. Well. Um, not that this is a morgue. I'm, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Security cameras. Oh, yeah. We, um, we have them strategically located throughout the park. Say cheese. Cheese. You had a cat named Jody. I used to have a fish named Dave. Oh. <laughs> he was. Would you just get off my back about it? That's all. I hope we're not interrupting something. Nice one. Hi, Robert. Hello. Hi. Hi. Wrong phone. Well, shall we move you in? Yeah, please. Hey, how about I put these in water? Out of ace in the car. There's one in the kitchen. You know that couple, Katie and Adam, that you met? They're your upstairs neighbors. And you've uh, been trying to get pregnant for a few years. No luck yet. You sure know all the dirt. These are all public knowledge, I assure you. The real secrets, I can keep to myself. Well, I'll be sure to remember that. <laughs> you want me to uh, go get the rest of your things? No, 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 I'll go get him in a second. I'm going to get Jody acclimated. Um, but thanks so much for your help so far. Oh, it's my pleasure. Look, I didn't tell you this, but one of the reasons I moved to L.A. was to get away from a stalker. Really? Yeah. He found out where I worked in Jackson, sent me something disturbing. And I packed for L.A. that night. I've changed my number like five times, but he always seems to find me. It's no use. I just know that nobody gets in or out of this building without me or my sister Helen knowing about it. You're safe here. Thank you. Okay. I'll let you get settled. And if you need anything, please call me. I will. Okay, take care. You too. Jody, come on, come on. What do you think? What do you think?
You all right? Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Sure, okay. Yeah, I just lost my bearings for a moment. No, that's fine. You heading out? Yeah, I just was gonna grab a few things at the store. Do you know one that's nearby? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. In fact, I need to go, too, if you want. I could uh, show you around. It's pretty wonderful. Sure. All right, let's go. Well, I gotta say, thank you. This has been wonderful. Well, if you like, we can make this a regular thing. What, going to the grocery store? No, yes. Um, but that, that, that's not what I meant. Like, uh, like a real date. No. Um, it's very sweet of you, but I'm not really looking for anything right now. You get it, right? Can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> Oliver? So. <laughs> oh, my God, what are you doing here? Right. Don't like tight spaces, huh? Excuse me? Sorry, I didn't mean to be nosy. I just, I never see you take the elevator, so I figured you don't like tight spaces. Yeah, I guess I just don't like elevators. They kind of creep me out. Hmm, it all makes sense now. Hey, I'm Katie, 3013. Hey, Melissa, apparently you're directly below neighbor. Oh, my God. Such a tragedy would happen to Megan. I hope you don't hear us fighting. Only the one about the underwear. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that one. Mm. My husband Adam and I are trying to have kids. Ah. Hey, um, if you ever see him, could you maybe not mention you saw me smoking? Your secret's safe with me. Have a good one, Katie. You too. Jody. comfortable with this. Oh, don't worry. I would never go into your bedroom. I was telling Janie about you. She ordered the comforter for you. Said it was your favorite. And Helen made your bed. Don't you worry. Yeah, I can't accept this. I, I, I gotta go. Let's no, Robert. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> Good timing, right? You have no idea. Come in. Uh. <laughs> oh. Well, looks like everything's all right. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. I was just making the quarterly rounds and checking on the smoke detectors. Yours works. <laughs> that is good timing. Oh, no. Your beautiful flowers are drooping. Yeah, got to throw those out. Look, I wanted to talk to you about that. I'm a bit uncomfortable with anyone coming in here without my approval. Even if it's you or your sister. I'm sorry, it's just, I'm not okay with that. Uh, 
I'm sorry. Won't happen again. Yeah, it's just... No. This is... No, look, I'm... I'm... I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed. I didn't mean to offend you. Thank you. Hey, you know what? Just to show no hard feelings, why don't I take you to lunch? For the quilt. Oh, uh, you've... you've had enough of me. <laughs> no, come on. I'm starving. Well, I, I do know a great little place in your life. Wait, you were in the service? I sure was. I served in Desert Storm. Oh my god, so did my father. Anything else I can get for you guys? Melissa? Why don't you bring us a couple of mimosas? Yeah, sure, you got it? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't. Really. Come on. Well, <laughs> anyway, when uh, when I got back from the Gulf, we decided to start a family. And that's when Jane was born. <laughs> yep. How about your dad? He died in the war. Um, just after he was deployed, his convoy was targeted. He was honored as a hero. Very touching. Alyssa, Robert, what's up, guys? Hey, uh, why don't you join us? I think that's a great idea. Here are your mimosas. Okay, can I get you a drink? Another great idea. I think I'll have one of those to start with. It's almost happy hour. Well, you know, why don't you just have mine? I, I've, I gotta get back. Oh no, don't, don't go now. I, I can go. No, 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 no. Please, you, too, stay, enjoy it. Dear, I'm so sorry to hear about your father. Thank you. What was that about? Um, I told him that my dad died in the first Gulf War. I think it just touched a nerve. Was, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't... Oh, it's totally cool. He just seemed so lonely without his daughter around. Really? I didn't know he had a daughter. Mm -hmm. Robert, are you home? Yes, Helen, I'm home. About time. Come here. Did you finish the chores I gave you? Almost. Oh, well, just take your time. It's not like I got building codes to abide by. Did you eat yet? Yes, Helen, I ate. Where? With who? With a new tenant in 2013, Alyssa. <laughs> She's young enough to be your daughter. Shut up. <laughs> oh, did I bruise your little feelings? <laughs> I'm gonna go to my room. You should either eat something or go to bed. Was that booze is making you a witch. Again. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, would a witch go and pick up your medications from the pharmacy? Why would you do that? They called. They said you hadn't picked up your prescriptions in over two months. So what? <laughs> you talk about a witch? Oh, we know how you get when you're off your meds. <laughs> Just ask your ex-wife.
Hi, Janie. It's your dad. I got all your favorite things for Thanksgiving. It... Just... Just don't forget the turkey. Okay. 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 I miss you, babe. Love you. Bye bye. Robert, going out. Take your medication. Yes, Helen. you wine and food, and that's what you're going to get. Wonderful. I'm not making you any more promises. Who says I want any promises? I'm really glad I met you. Yeah, I'm really glad I met you, too. You stay away from her! Robert, what are you doing? Helen. What's that? What is it? Nothing. I want to see it. No! Give it to me! You're not just off your meds this time. You have just lost it's it. It's not what it looks like. It's for Alyssa's safety. Her safety? Her safety? Yes. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Ella, don't call Jane. Don't tell her. Don't call Jane? Oh. I see now. You know what? That's exactly no, what I'm going to do. Please, I'm begging you. I'm going to call Jane. Don't do it. She, she won't understand. Oh, no, no. She is going to understand, and she's going to love what I've got to say. Don't stop. Stop. No. Stop. I'm going to call Jane. Hello, Jane. This is your aunt. Stop Hester. now! Helen. Helen. Helen, get up. Helen, get up. You did this. Asked you nice. Please, Abba. I didn't mean it. <laughs> you did this. You did it. Bartender, plus I'll give you more stage time if you're up for that. 
Can you come by tomorrow so we can talk? I should be there around noon, so come by whenever. Okay, bye. Bye. Katie? Oh my oh, god, what's wrong? I'm fine. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'll be okay. Talk to me. <sighs> just another fight with Adam. No. It's not a big deal, it's just... It's all my fault. I really dug myself into a hole. I'm so sorry. I'll be okay. How are you settling in? I'm good. Yeah. Um, I got a job, too, actually. It's great. Yeah, and everyone's been really nice here. And Robert's been really welcoming. Of course he is. Why? What do you know? I don't know. If he's being really nice to you, that's great. No, no, tell me. Robert was really close with the former tenant, Megan. Megan was severely depressed, so she really latched onto his company. The friendship seemed good for the both of them, but when she killed herself, the apartment sat empty for months before he could rent it. That's interesting. He implied that he didn't really know her. Has anyone told you that you look exactly like her? What do you mean? Let me show you.
all I know, and this is just a rumor, so I don't really know, but when Robert and his wife got divorced, I heard she got a restraining order, and that's why he had to move in with his sister. But divorce sucks, so. Yeah, I don't know. Robert's been a complete gentleman. I think he's just lonely. Robert's a harmless old man, but just establish your boundaries, you know? Yeah. Jody. 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 you to tell Alyssa that you were mistaken in what you said about me. My wife never got a restraining order, got it? Get the hell away from me, obviously. Listen. Listen, you will tell her that my wife and I had an amicable separation. You are going to make this right, you understand? Do you understand? Or I will tell your husband you're not only fertile, that you had an abortion. How, how could you know that? I know a lot more secrets. Let's just say the walls are thin. Now, you do what I say. You fix it. Or Adam will receive a comprehensive dossier on you and your ability to bear children. Good luck in your follow-up appointment. Hope you've healed. Alyssa! Hey, I saw you on YouTube. Hey, you were amazing. Have you seen my cat? No. Why? I left my balcony door open and I can't find her anywhere. Oh, no. I'm sure she'll be back. Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah, can you put this in the elevator? Yeah. Oh, here, tape. Okay. I'll make sure the rest of the residents know. Can you let Helen know? Yeah, uh, Helen had to leave town abruptly. Is everything okay? Uh, our 92-year-old Nana fell and broke her hip. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. No, I think she'll be all right. Helen's going to stay with her for a while. But You know, um, before Helen left, she bought these tickets to see this comedian, Wendy Liebman. And, you know... She can't use them, and I thought, you know, maybe you and I could go. Wow. I, I'd love to. Thank you, but I can't. Oliver and I are going to go look for Jody. Oh, you're, you're going out with, with Oliver? We're going to go look for my cat, yeah. Can't believe you're going with Oliver. He's no good. Not that it's any of your business, but he and I are just friends. He's no good. You know that. You know... I can decide what's good for me. Jeez, you're acting like my dad or something, and it's not cool. No. I, See you I, later. Sorry, Janie. Sorry. Hey. Hey. You okay? You know, I don't want to talk about it. But let's go find Jody. All right. All right. Why don't you jump in? Thank you. We are going to find her. We're not giving up. But I know this great place. It has the best fish tacos in the world. You should really eat something. Where could she be? Boy, Jody's a cat. Cats love fish. Maybe she's by the fish tacos. We should probably go check. Hey, uh, can you hold the door, 
please? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you so much. No problem. Hey, do you know what apartment Oliver Hall lives in? You ready? Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. So good. Right? Mm-hmm. Seriously. Mm. Jody is gonna come back. She probably went to the comedy show with Robert. They're gonna come back best friends. Oh, yeah, okay. You know, I moved to avoid a stalker and trying to also get away from my family. They can be a bit clingy, but it seems like Robert's desperate to be my new father. Doesn't he have a daughter of his own? Right? I mean, no wonder she only comes back for the holidays. He told me not to go out with you. That's what dads do. They control their daughters. Yeah, I tried to. You know what happens when dads try to tell their daughters they can't see someone? What? Where's your bedroom? you too, but we got to take things slow. Well, you can stay and we can still take it slow. Yeah, if this was slow for us, then fast is out of control. I'm going to go home. Well, will you be back? Thank you for today. I look forward to getting more fish tacos. Me too. Taking it slow. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought she was hot. Is that your new girl? Um, sorry. What? You don't know. Uh, I don't know. I. I... <laughs> well, you're thinking about it. I'm here. No strings attached. your car? No. She'll come back. They always do. She probably just found another house to get double the attention. I hope you're right. Look, I, um, I wanted to tell you that I was way off base with what I said about Robert the other day. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I was pissed at him for fighting, and I wasn't thinking straight. Um, Robert's actually very cool with me, and he's, he's done a lot for me in a father figure way. Well, I'm glad you said that, because the other day he gave me some advice about Oliver. And acted like a child, and it turns out Robert was totally right. It's great. Well, look, I'm doing stand-up tonight, if you want to come. I wish I could, but I'm really slammed. Anyway, I gotta go. I hope you find your cat. Thank you. Your phone, do you? <laughs> yeah, I don't, 
I don't think so. Okay. Uh, how about you? Can I look at your phone? Don't do it, ma'am. Yo, you are killing me. Okay. <clears throat> Does anybody know what ILY means in a text message? Love you. I love you too. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you two are a couple. Get you something. Yeah? yeah. If you don't mind me asking, what's that's the my age daughter. Difference? I'm seven years older. Seven years. Yeah. Yeah, seven years. That's like one. She's daughter. great, isn't she? Right. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. She's great. What do great. you guys think is like the most acceptable age gap? Three or four years. Twenty. Twenty? Ooh, someone's a twenty. God, that's gross. Yeah, no, I'm not down. Um, yeah, so I have this like father figure type in my life, and I think he's into me. Uh, he's actually my landlord. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, yeah, actually, that was probably him who said twenty. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I'm not gonna sleep with you if you own more than five pairs of khakis. <laughs> Old men think it's sexy to be a father figure type. But like, dude, no. You're literally father figured. Go to the gym. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna be attracted to you just for some sort of validation, unless you're like a parking attendant and like, validate me. <laughs> um, yeah, but, I mean, there has to be some sort of age limit, right? You can't be a sugar daddy and have diabetes. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't seem to be safe. Um, yeah, old men are gross. They're gross. tonight. Thank you. Yeah, your dad must be proud. What? Yeah, he was here earlier. Uh, older guy, dressed nice. This is Robert. Can't take your call. It's about the building. Leave a message. Robert, hey, it's Alyssa. I just wanted to say thanks for coming tonight, and I hope you know that my jokes were just jokes, and that it's nothing personal. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Um, give me a call. Oliver. He did that for you. For us. He's not good enough for you. He's lucky I left him alive. I am the only person that will stay true and loyal to you. I love you, Alyssa. going to break your heart. No. I had to show you that. You're insane. No. They've been waiting so long for the right moment to meet you. And when I got your email, I knew you had finally realized. What email? Realized what? We're going to be together. I saw the knife, I grabbed the closest thing to me, and I hit him, her. I... How do you think she got in? 
Well, I've been leaving the balcony door open because my cat's been missing. And, oh my God, this is all my fault. No, dear, this is not your fault. He's right, it's, it's not your fault. It'd be best for everyone to keep their doors and windows locked when you're not home. But it takes a criminal to break into someone's house. You're lucky. Now, you say you don't know this Sam? Well, I thought she was a girlfriend of Oliver's. Oliver Hall. He's a, another tenant in the building. We know who Mr. Hall is. It seems that this Sam, this Samantha Berry, she's the one who's been stalking you. She follows you from Wyoming. It's not coincidence that you ran into her. Is Oliver okay? Oh, he's fine. A, a detective's with him now. Is there anything else you're gonna need from me, detective? We won't be needing you any further. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good day. You okay? Yeah. Thank you so much for everything. the idea of you being home alone. Hey. You know what? I almost forgot. Thursday is Thanksgiving and Janie's birthday. And so we're gonna have sort of a combination celebration. It'd be so much fun if you could be there. Janie's flying in. Well, that sounds wonderful. I don't know, with all the stuff that happened, I was thinking of laying low for the holiday, but... I'm feeling up for it. Yeah, I'll let you know. Understood. Just know you're invited either way. Thank you. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. Good night. Tip your bartender. It'll be me. <laughs> Show some love for Leslie Harrelson, everyone. Come on. That was really, really funny. I gotta start my shift. Our next comedian has also seen those shows. He wants you to call an up and coming legend. Listen, uh, I came here to apologize. Would you like me to throw a drink in your face to make this completely ironic? No, please don't. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I know. It's okay. I hope we can be friends. I miss your bikes and kill the light. Get lost in my fight in the dark. Just breathing. Just breathing. Robert, what happened? Oh. Silly me, I, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, literally. <laughs> I slipped and sprained my shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I think I hurt my pride more than anything. Uh, Helen's gonna help me with the turkey. She's old, I'm broken between the two of us. We're almost whole. <laughs> Jane's cake. I just don't know how I'm gonna get it all together in time. Let me bring a cake. Are you coming? Yeah, I'll bring a cake. What kind does she like? It's cake. I mean, she likes any kind of cake. Who doesn't? <laughs> Just bring your favorite, please. And dear, 
It would be delightful if you were there. Happy Thanksgiving, Oliver. Happy Thanksgiving. What are you up to today? Uh, well, I was gonna go home, but Robert invited me to spend it with his family. His daughter's coming home from college, and it's her birthday, and he did save my life. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Well, what about you? Where does Oliver spend his Thanksgiving? Oh, uh, lonely guy Thanksgiving, I'm afraid. Oh. Oh, no, don't, don't feel bad. I, uh, I actually think it's what I need. Um, I think it's a good thing for me, and uh, feels feels right for today. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I can invite you for tacos next week. Yeah, I'd like that. Have a good one. You too. Wow, this place looks amazing. Thank you. Uh, why don't you find your place and have some wine? Is white okay? Yeah, white's fine. Great. Uh, I have the cake. Oh, put it right in the center of the table. Okay. Just give me a minute. I'll be right up. Oh, I brought flowers, too. Doesn't look like you need any, though. <laughs> Can I help? Nope. I'm all set. Make yourself at home. Well, go ahead and uh, nibble if you want. The turkey won't be ready for another 45 minutes. Is everyone here? Oh, my goodness. That cake is amazing. Yeah, I hope Jane likes it. Oh, thank you. Did you try the wine? I did. It's delicious. Where is everyone? Well, it looks like it's just going to be us tonight. Why? What happened? Did I tell you that Helen was helping our Nana? She had an accident. Right. She fell. She broke her leg. She's 95, and it's just not healing like they hoped it would. So Helen's going to stay and until she gets back on her feet. I thought it was her hip. Hip. Right. Now, you've always had such a good memory, Jane. I mean, Alyssa. <laughs> Speaking of, where is Jane? Oh, you're not going to believe this. Her flight was canceled. You're having white? I don't have bread. I see the gifts. Why do we all have one? Well, everybody gets a present on a birthday in my family. Go ahead. Open yours. It's nothing special, but it is from my heart. Wow. It's very pretty, but you Here. know what? Yeah, let's. Um, uh, it looks so beautiful on you. Thank you. Cheers. Jane. Mm. Right. What can I do for you, Becca? Robert, I'm in the garage. It's an emergency. The gate won't open and I can't get out. I have to be at LAX in 20 minutes. You better get down here. If I miss my flight, you're going right. to be responsible. All right. I'll be right there. Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's stuck in the garage. I have to go help her. I'll be right back. Okay. 
Can I help? You stay and enjoy all of this. I'll be back shortly, Jane. I promise. It's Alyssa. Order to go for Oliver, please. It'll be another minute if you'd like to take a seat. Katie? Oh, hey, Oliver. Happy Thanksgiving. Not really. Adam and I are separated. Talks of a divorce. Wow. Uh, really sorry to hear that. I hope you guys work it out. What are you doing here? Turkey sandwich to go? You too. Alone, yeah. I thought you and Alyssa were a theme. Yeah. With all the everything that happened with the stalker, I, I don't know. But I think things are looking up. So what, she didn't want to spend Thanksgiving with you? No, she's having it with Robert and his daughter. Robert doesn't have a daughter. Well, not anymore. What do you mean anymore? What? She died. His daughter Jane died like six or seven years ago. That's when he split up with his wife and moved back in with Helen. Why would he lie? I don't know. I just thought he was being creepy because Alyssa looks so much like Megan. Yeah, it's weird, but so what? I mean, I don't think he's dangerous. Do you know Robert threatened me? He threatened you? How? He knew some secrets, some very personal secrets about me. I don't know how he did, but he knew. He told me to stay away from Alyssa. He told me the same thing, but I thought that was different. <sighs>
Happy Thanksgiving, Oliver. Happy Thanksgiving. What are you going to say? Uh, well, I was going to go home, but Robert invited me to spend it with his family. His daughter is coming home from college, and it's her birthday, so I am baking a cake right now. Was the other person's call? Happy Thanksgiving, Oliver. Happy Thanksgiving. What are you up to today? Uh, well, I was going to go home, but Robert invited me to spend it with his family. His daughter is coming home from college, and it's her birthday. safe. I'm sorry. I know you can't help that you feel this way. I wish you could have been stronger. Be strong. Just relax. That's it. Be strong. You won't feel a thing if you just relax. Be strong. Jody? 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 Jody, oh my god. Jody, I've never seen you again. I can get you out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. There you are. No. Good. You found Jody. No, you stay the hell away from me. Oh, honey. You're a murderer. You killed Megan and you killed your own sister. I did it for us, sweetheart. I had to. Your Aunt Helen almost ruined everything. She got what she deserved. And Megan. Hmm. Megan. Megan's a long story. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> you just got home, Jane. Can we get along for five minutes before we start bickering? Oh my god. The wine. You drugged me. It's for your own good, Jane. Jane. She's awake. Sorry, I started without you, but you know how much I love Thanksgiving dinner. What did you do to me? Cleaned you up for your birthday. Don't go anywhere. Not that you would. Um, I also still have Judy. Judy. Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. I'll come right back. Tell me the wish. 
is that all come true? You don't want to hear what my wish is. What did you say, Jay? Let me see. Shut up! Be nice. Remember? here sit down and I suggest you come out now unless you want something really bad to happen to him I'm right here oh, dang, honey you know that's Alyssa right Jane and I are gonna take a much needed father-daughter trip up north I love how your favorite dress makes you look just like your passport photo. I packed the car. Oh, and I packed the suitcase for you. That's very kind of you, Father. But where are we going exactly? Do you remember that that little cabin north of Vancouver. I used to love it there when you were a kid. <sighs> yes. Alyssa and you, Oliver. You are gonna pour yourself a nice large glass of white wine. And then when they find your body and your suicide note and a host of other things implicating you with the death of Megan, and Helen, we're going to be scot free. <laughs> Daddy? Yes, dear? Why did you kill Megan? She fell in love with me. Her desires were impure. She had to go. I thought I'd lost Jane forever. And then you came along. Sit down! You pour yourself a drink now. I won't. And this next bullet's gonna make a mess. Dad? Yes? I really like the necklace you gave me. Good, Janie. Where is it? It's right here! Are you okay? 
excited for some fish tacos? So excited. Alyssa? Yeah. You alright? Yeah, sorry. Uh, let's go get some tacos. Okay. Okay. We gotta bring Jody home a taco. Yeah, we do. Feel like the she's spoiled. Two of them. Okay. Making up the colors lit by pink blue skies.